so yeah it was just the hell i made a fibroids video but i never told you guys like when i was going to the hospital and bleeding with fibroids and stuff like i was pregnant i found out i have fibroids when i was pregnant and i lost my baby like four months pregnant this man my husband made fun of the fact that i lost a child my husband made fun of the fact that i lost a child my husband made fun of the fact that i lost a child my husband made fun of the fact that i lost a child like how evil is that how cruel is that like i didn't do i didn't do nothing like to him like because you're mad you're gonna make fun of the loss of a somebody losing their child like that's a serious thing like you got demons on you provided nothing no food never bought food never bought groceries put his hands on me slamming me on the bed like almost cutting my breathing off that's happened a few times You know, I, I forgave him of all this stuff. It's not something I dwell on every day. I remember I made a list to him in an email. There's like literally a hundred things on there of just cruel, evil things he's done to me. Talking about uh, he wants some uh, Latina e. Like he wants to have sex with other girls. Just evil things that he's done to me. He would use the Bible to like call me, like call me names and put me down. Like things that weren't true. Like a scripture about a, a woman wipe, wipes her mouth and says she hasn't done nothing like shame. Like if a woman is um, having sex with somebody else and saying she's not a whore or something. Like what are you, like why are you using this scripture against me? I've you know i haven't cheated on you i haven't even thought like as terrible as you've treated me i haven't even thought about being with another man but you're gonna sit there and just repeat these scriptures over and over attacking me with them as to say like i'm a whore or i'm things i'm not What kind of a godly person uses scripture to falsely attack somebody, especially your wife? Like, don't tell me you know God. Don't tell me you're following God because a godly man would not do that to somebody. A godly person wouldn't do that to anybody. I'm not going to use scripture of a wicked man to read it over and over to you to say that's you when I know that's not what you do. But actually, unfortunately, he does fit scripture of wicked men but even then i still don't use it to attack you with it like come on you're supposed to if you really know god and you really follow your bible you're supposed to build your brother up you're supposed to encourage them to to turn from their sin not use scripture against them to beat them down especially when it's not true so i would have to deal with that a lot like and it hurt because like i try like before i even met him i would take notes on being a submissive wife and like I just really wanted to please my husband and do all these things and I'm naturally like a sweet quiet nice person like very caring and just to get treated so bad like it 
it hurt it hurts still a lot it's like i just got married and i was really looking for sorry guys like i wanted to be married like i didn't have like the best family growing up and like i feel like my whole life i um my whole life like i was just really looking forward to having my own family and being like a real family and having like real love and a closeness and bondness like, i've been looking for that like my whole life you know And like, I feel like my whole life, I, um, my whole life, like, I was just really looking forward to having my own family and being like a real family and having like real love and a closeness and bondness. Like, I've been looking for that like my whole life, you know? And then to like marry somebody and think, okay, I finally get to be happy and I finally, you know, get to have somebody that really loves me and cares about me and we just love and care about each other and have a life together. And then it turns out like this and like, I follow the Bible. God doesn't like divorce and I don't believe in getting a divorce from him, even if this is like how he treats me. So it's like, I'm stuck. I'm fucking mad right now, man. And then if any of you niggas fall off or die, I ain't gonna shed a tear for you, man. I'm talking about you niggas in GMS. May the most high expose all you false niggas in GMS and destroy your ass, man. So I can shrink to your fucking destruction, man. Mother can destroy you, man. Mother can destroy you, man. I'm stuck in this like my chance of being happy is gone like it's been like I should have a three-year-old by now you know but it's like I, I don't even want to have kids with him because like I just want to get <coughs> Proof right now of the reason why he's divorcing me because it's not for fornication. He agreed that he would give, that he would say the reason. Well, I can't turn it, so. so I, don't, I don't need it like in my face, face. You could like back right. up a little. Verse, I mean, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally <laughs> yoked together with unbelievers.
For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion have light with darkness? That's why I'm not with IRC. Have light with darkness. That's why I'm not with IRC. Have light with darkness. That's why I'm not with IRC. Okay. Cool. So. So right. Want to divorce me because I don't want to follow IRC's doctrine, right? No, you don't want to follow the Bible. No, I'm not following the Bible. I read the whole thing, but you, you never pick it up. You're quoting scriptures that have nothing to do with marriage or this situation. But I don't know the Bible and I don't want to follow it. And this is not talking about marriage. Marriage says right, you can change so, your husband. So, so clearly that means you're you're supposed to be with them even though they're not seeing eye to eye. It's because I'm not a part of IUSC, right? Because you would say, you would say this. Yeah, you're not a part of it. Christ says the doctrine is to go into all the nations, teach repentance, 